Hi, this is Craig from DiviThemeExamples.com and today we're going to show you how you can download and import the Divi layouts that are available for download on DiviThemeExamples.com So here you can see we have various layouts from full page, sections, modules and they can be used on your Divi website. Now, since Divi 2.7, the way layouts are handled has changed. So these two here and any future layouts will be using a JSON file, which is .json. And all of these older ones will be using uh, an XML file. And depending on which file you have, there's different ways to import into your Divi website. So we're going to show you how to import the JSON file and how to import the XML file. So we're going to start off with the JSON file. So if you click on the layout you want to use, you can see uh, screenshots of the front and back end. You can also click on the button for the live demo. You're going to need to like, tweet or plus one in order to download the layout. So we've just done that and the download layout button has appeared. So here we have the contact us page which is here. You're going to need to unzip the folder. So we're going to extract all. And here you can see file type is JSON. So if you download a layout, just have a check which um, file type it is. And the way you import it will be different depending on JSON or XML. So we're importing a JSON file. So we need to go into your website. Here we have a test site. You go into the back end Divi, Divi library, which is this page. Let's check there's nothing in. So there's nothing in the library. So you need to click import and export and you get this portability window. So click on import. Now go and find the file. So it was in it was the contact us. So we're importing the JSON file. So import Divi Builder layouts. And once it's imported the page should reload and it should show up in your library which it has here so now in order to use it you just go to add new page or open up an existing page we're going to use the builder and we're going to load from library and we're going to add from library and here we have contact us page so click load and you'll see the layout has been loaded. <coughs> and if you preview that, it should look exactly the same as the live demo you just viewed, with the exception of the title. I mean, the navigation, which you can turn off here if you don't need it. <coughs> okay, so that is for the JSON file. Now if we go back to our Divi layouts, and we will go for the fancy Divi bar counter. <coughs> and again, we can see the demo of what we're going to load. This is the default, and this is our fancy D 
do bar counter. Okay, so again, we're going to like tweet or plus one, and we're going to download the file. So now when we extract this one, you're going to see it's an XML file. And if you try and import the XML file using the portability window that we just did with the JSON file, it will tell you that it's an invalid file format. So and we can publish this old test site that we just did and we're going to add a new uh, we're going to go to um, tools and import and we're going to use the WordPress importer if you haven't already got this installed it will <coughs> give you a pop up asking you to install it so we're going to choose file. So again, so if we try and import a JSON file using the WordPress importer, it's going to give you an error. So the JSON files always have to go via the Divi Divi library import. So, but for our XML file. And we'll go back to here. We're going to choose file. We're going to go back, and it was a fancy bar counter. And you can see it's an XML file. So we import, upload file, and import. We're going to attach it to admin, download, and import file attachments. And you can see it's all done. So we're going to add a new page. In fact, if you go to your Divi library now, you'll see that the fancy Divi bar counters have been added already. So now, to use it is the same as before. We just go to load library, add library, and here we have the fancy Divi bar counters. <coughs> and that is how to use and import the Divi layouts. So all you need to remember is XML files go via tools and import. JSON files go via Divi, Divi library and then import export.